Um, I, I don't remember a time when I really remember not being interested in music in one way, shape, or form, you know. In every college town in America, there's a guy pretending to be the alternative songwriting darling. Nathan, he was the real deal. It was that chemical, mystical, unquantifiable thing that he had around him. The air was electric, and we couldn't move. And then he launched into it. It was like the stage exploded. We couldn't understand what this guy was doing there. Nathan sort of stumbled around during the day, running into walls until you showed him the stage at night, and he became alive. Okay. A lot of my material, yeah, they were not going to play it on the radio, and and it's pretty hard to listen to sometimes. You know, it's not not pretty. Music was was about the battle. There's a lot of joy and emotion in it, but there's also a lot of pain and a a goodbye. In all of those lyrics, he's practically screaming that, you know, I will not be an old man with a gray beard. I'm not going to do anything that's going to compromise what I do as an artist. Talking about Nathan's music, it's like dancing about architecture. There's, there was so much life and energy in it, and you just couldn't imagine that being gone. You know, you can live a hundred years and leave nothing and you can never take those chances, and he took them every single day. His story is, is almost bigger than him. The whole world should have known who Nathan Davis was. 